G'day Virgo, going to do your love energy update for the end of June. See what love energy is coming towards you as it now. Let's go. Three cards. The love energy coming towards Virgo. Could be someone new, someone old, someone you don't know yet. First card out. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Ooh, someone wants to express their love. Two more, please. Oh, got three more. All right, we'll take them. So we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership so they want to work on things with you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Ooh, they're keeping an open mind about things. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So they want to explore those romantic feelings with you. Bottom of the deck, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So they might have some family issues they need to heal. Hmm, interesting. So I'm trying to pay it. I'm not going to look. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Everything's going everywhere. It's gone. All right. So let's check it out. Okay, tell me about Express Your Love. I love energy coming towards the bed. Ooh, the lovers. Wow. Let's see what else we get. Okay. Ooh, the tower. So. They need to make a choice on how they're going to express their love, but the universe is going to go shake things up a bit. Something's going to shake, rock their world. Maybe they're hoping to rock your world with this love connection. Mm, when they express their love, they want to make some connection with you that rocks your world. Ooh. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Controlling their passions, though. Ooh, he's very passionate, gets what he wants. Mm, give your relationship a chance. Here, oh, King of Pentacles wanting to be solid and grounded in this relationship. One more, please. Oh, got a couple more. Oh, I normally keep shuffling, but you've got four cards here, so be fair. <laughs> All right, so they want to be grounded and stable, they want the wheel to turn on this and um, to have stable action happen. So, yeah, they want to give this a chance because they, they want this stability and they want the wheel to turn for the action, this stable action to begin to get, for you to give them a chance to show that they can be stable. Yeah, and the world at the bottom of the deck to close out the cycle of whatever it was in the past or... To close out the cycle of being single, start a whole new chapter of life with you on a higher level because the world is the upgrade. Get to the end of the major arcana, you've learnt your lessons, your upgrade. So, to a brand new cycle on a higher plane with the lessons learned. Alright, keep an open mind. Why do they want you to keep an open mind, Virgo? What is this love energy? What are they keeping an open mind about? Okay, now we got a flipper in the deck, and it is hmm, the three of wands, and we have the fool that jumped. So keep an open mind might have to wait a little bit for this new beginning. They might have to wait for this new beginning. You might have to wait for this new beginning. 
and might be some waiting. Mm. Okay, they're keeping an open mind that you might want to think about things, so they're willing to wait for this new beginning. They're keeping an open mind about that because you might want some proof first. There's that King of Wands again at the bottom of the deck, controlling their passions. <laughs> Yeah, they're keeping their passions controlled. All right, tell me about romantic feelings. And these are romantic feelings they want to explore. Got one card. Ooh. Tell me more. Got these romantic feelings. Okay. So we've got the Seven of Cups and we've got the Queen of Swords. So they, I got they might have lots of different romantic feelings for you. But they're not going to take any crap though. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> or else um, you might have other options and, th and they want you to cut them out. Well, they want to explore these romantic feelings with you because they want to quit daydreaming about you. If there are other options, they're cutting them out. Or well, they want you to cut out your other options. But I get the feeling that they're daydreaming. These romantic feelings, they're daydreaming and they want to cut through the daydream and get to reality. But they do have these romantic feelings for you. But, hmm. Well, they could be confused about these feelings they have and they want some clarity on that from you. In the bottom of the deck, oh, we have the Hermit going within. Well, that is your card. There you go. Um, yeah. They might be just going within to heal those family issues that they have too. Being these are both, they're both on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. All right. What's that? Bits of card, most likely. All right. Let's see, what else can you tell us about this love energy coming towards Virgo? Three cards, please. Oh, okay, got him. We have Step Out of Your Comfort Zone, the North Node. What do you need to release? Wanning moon, or want, wanting moon, wanning moon. I never know how to say that properly. And meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Okay. Well, it could be that hermit. They're meditating, contemplating, going within, looking at what they need to release, stepping out of their comfort zone. Bottom of the deck, see, deck. Bottom of the deck is... The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. Ooh. Okay. So let's look at it. What do they need to step out of their comfort zone about? Eight of pentacles. Ooh, nine of wands. They might be comfortable where they are, just plodding along, working, but they're getting tired. The wounded warrior are tired. Tired of... So this is studying, they could be studying you, and they're tired of just studying you, and they want something to happen. So they're going to step out of their comfort zone. Which he looks pretty comfortable sitting there working on his pentacles but he doesn't look very comfortable <laughs> yeah 
So I think the comfort zone, they're getting a bit tired of just maybe just working all the time and being too tired for passion. They want to step out of that and make time for passion with you. Yeah. The comfort zone are going to work and going, being tired when they get home, going to work, tired when they get home, tired, and yeah. Going to work, getting... They want to step out of that. And the star. That's their wish. Or they want to heal from being tired. But I think it's that's their wish. Their wish is to have a different life than just working, working to exhaustion. Right, what do they need to release? What do they need to release? I've got temperance. What else do they need to release? Why do they need to release temperance? Okay. Right, so we got temperance and then we've got. Ooh, death card. Ooh, four of Wands. And, ooh, the Hierophant. Wow. I need to release being so patient about transforming into something stable and committed. And they might be just working and go putting it off. Oh, yeah, one day I'll get stable and committed. One day I'll get the, you know, one day I'll transform things and I'll get stable and committed one day. Being too patient. That's why that tower's coming in to kick their butt and make them express their love. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So that they will transform and become stable and commitment material. Mm. It's at the bottom here. Oh. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Take that brand new stable beginning with you. Alright, let's meditate and contemplate. Mm. Page of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So they're meditating and contemplating on how to come forward with this passionate message, but they're really guarded about it. And they're really guarded about this. How do you... Mm, they're meditating on it. How do I come forward and express this passion while still protecting myself? Because I guess they don't want to come across as a fool. Bottom of the deck is a three of cups. So it could be a get-together that's coming up with energies gaining momentum. It could be some sort of celebration that's coming up. And they're stressing about it because they're going to see you there and they know they have to communicate with you what's under that hang yeah they're stuck closing out a cycle trying to use logic Ooh, they don't want things to be a painful ending mm, but they definitely want to get together with you right they see it as third party no Got a king, a knight, a queen, and a page. So, <laughs> mm. yeah, so they definitely want to see you and celebrate something with you. Perhaps this expressing of love. Mm. They need to step out of that comfort zone. Stop being so patient. <laughs> Fool.
before you know it, time will go by and they'll just miss out if they... Hmm. Alright, what else can you tell us for the love energy coming towards the Virgo? This last week of June. Wow. Okay. We have Girl Talk. Time with friends, moving on. Happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Alright. We have palm trees, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So that's what they want to be. That's what they want to give this a chance to be. Ooh, the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. And that could be this Seven of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Need to cut these other snakes out. Lightning. That's a tower. Sudden change. Shocking news. It's surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. That's it. Transformation and the tower. Ooh, seduction. Attraction. Flirting. Dating. Hooking up. Temptation. Third party interference. Hmm. Could be that three of cups, three of wands. Shh. And that's the only threes here. And we do have the lovers. That's a choice card. Well, they might just uh, bump the thing. They might just try and seduce you. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude. Bliss. I mean, they're working a lot, so they're probably abundant. And then we have girl with the snake. Empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. <sighs> Got the snake and the girl with the snake. Maybe there's someone else who has romantic feelings for them here. There's many options. And one of them could be the snake. You need to be aware of and cut them out. Or they need to be aware of there's someone else after them, maybe, that might be jealous of you. You need to cut them out. There's no gender here either. In tarot, there's no gender. It's all energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child that's hit healing family issues and growth. I think they've got some growth to do here. They need to heal some stuff. They could have been hurt by a narcissist. Could have been cheated on. Seduced by someone. They're trying to be stable. They want things to change. Things to be abundant. Mm, interesting here. They're waiting on, for this new beginning with you, though. I mean, they've got the lovers, but there's no... There's only the seven of cups here, as far as cups is concerned. Lots of money and stability. Lots of ones and pentacles. Lots of ones and pentacles, actually. Lots of ones. Hmm. All right. What is this love energy coming towards Virgo? What do they want to tell Virgo? What would they like to say? I can't give you what you want. See them, they might have trouble with, the, yeah, they obviously have a problem with commitment. They need to release that. Tell me more. What else would they like to say? Please contact me. Tell me more. Ooh, okay, we got him. We've got, I don't want to love you. Yeah. That might be that snake. Um, I love holding you 
and I love your smile. Mm. This is an interesting reading. Could be third party here. And I'm afraid of these feelings at the bottom of the deck. Now, if they express their love, the big change could be that they have to leave someone else. They want to give it a chance. But you might have to keep an open mind that mm -hmm, they've still got to get rid of the other person. They might still have romantic feelings for that other person. The other option they have. And they could be quite a cutting person. Yeah. I can't give you what you want I think that goes here with this snake they don't want to love them and they can't give them what they want they want you to contact them and because they want something with you but really they need to release this person and heal the issues they have Heal that inner child issue that they have with this, whatever this other person is. Mm. They want to be stable. But they've got issues with the snake. Mm. And they need to release that. Could be they need to release someone that they're committed to here end things some it's ended with them but they haven't released the relationship they're trying to be patient yeah that's why they're meditating contemplating whether to say something oh they're a bit guarded hmm interesting all right, Virgo. Mm, sorry about that. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but yeah. All right. Well, good luck. If you got something out of the reading, please give it a like and subscribe and share all that good stuff. And you know, we'll do another reading next week. See what's going on for July when we start July. Now it might be a little bit later next week. Depends on how things go. I don't know, but it could be later next week into July the first reading of July but see what happens alright well good luck take care and I'll catch you later